Yet again the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, mankind's latest endeavor, unveils endless cosmic interfaces across unlimited distances, capturing light that has traveled for more than 13 billion years. This light, in any case, tells us more than just a story of time. It reveals the progression of our universe, shaped and stretched by its ceaseless expansion. As we peer back at the farthest systems, we're essentially witnessing an ancient era moving progressively closer to the beginning of the universe, the Big Bang. The theory of the ancient cosmic explosion, a cornerstone of modern cosmology, strongly suggests that our universe had a specific beginning and is finite in age. However, from its inception, this singular, endless starting point has been met with skepticism, and challenges to its validity continue even in mainstream cosmology. For decades, the theory of the universe's origin held strong, especially after the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, in the 1960s. This background radiation, a faint pervasive hum across the universe, aligned perfectly with predictions of a hot, dense early universe. However, recent observations by the JWST have raised new questions about the Big Bang's validity. Through the telescope's extraordinary clarity, NASA's colossal time machine has revealed ancient systems far larger and more diverse than previously expected. This challenges our understanding of the universe's earliest stages. As the telescope peers back to when the first systems formed, it offers humanity a remarkable view, one that the Hubble telescope could not fully achieve. Hubble was simply not sensitive enough to detect the extraordinarily faint, redshifted light of these earliest systems. With JWST's cutting-edge capabilities, we are now looking closer to the beginning of time itself. As we venture into this unknown realm, we encounter an age-old mystery. How did the first galaxies truly form? And does the universe, as a whole, truly have a single definitive beginning? The earliest universe was a hot, dark place so dense that light itself couldn't freely travel. This means that, no matter how powerful our telescopes are, we cannot see any further back with light alone. However, we are not limited to light. New technological advancements are paving the way for the detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes, which could serve as an alternative avenue to probe the universe's earliest phases, perhaps even the singularity we call the Big Bang. The foundations of the theory of the universe's origin and its subsequent expansion stretch back to the 1920s and 1930s when astronomers first observed that distant galaxies appeared to be moving away from us. This discovery, combined with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, laid the groundwork for the Big Bang model. Einstein's equations predicted that a static universe would be unstable, requiring either contraction or expansion. Observing this expansion suggested that galaxies had likely been closer together in the distant past, implying a singular beginning for the universe. The universe's expansion has several important implications. Not only do objects move farther apart, but the light emitted from them also stretches, shifting to longer wavelengths over time. Since wavelength corresponds to energy, with shorter wavelengths being more energetic, this redshift indicates that the universe has been cooling as it ages. By rewinding this vast expansion, we arrive at a point where everything would have been so hot and dense that neutral particles couldn't exist, leading to a uniform, searing hot glow. This glow was confirmed in 1964 when astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson accidentally discovered the cosmic microwave background, a pervasive radiation field faintly echoing the universe's fiery start. Yet, as the JWST pushes the boundaries of cosmic observation, scientists are uncovering features in the early universe that challenge the traditional Big Bang narrative. We see massive, bright galaxies where there should be none, forming in ways that defy expectations. So, if the theory of the universe's origin alone does not explain these anomalies, what else might? At the core of the Big Bang hypothesis lies a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics break down. This is where existence, as we understand it, began. However, this idea has significant limitations. Imagine trying to describe the entirety of existence compressed into an infinitely dense point. This is where our understanding reaches a limit. While many aspects of the Big Bang model have been supported by observations and experiments, this initial singularity remains a mystery, prompting one to wonder. Could the universe have had a different kind of beginning? 
In its quest to understand the universe, science has found ways to recreate similar conditions. For example, quark gluon plasma has been synthesized in laboratories, and matter antimatter pairs have been created to align with early universe predictions. Through these experiments and by analyzing the variations in the cosmic microwave background, we have developed a well supported picture of the universe's evolution. Yet, significant mysteries remain. For instance, if all regions of space were once compressed into a single point, why do we observe such uniformity in the universe's temperature? According to conventional models, regions of space should show varied temperatures because they couldn't have exchanged energy or information. Additionally, we might expect to find relics from the hottest moments, such as magnetic monopoles or spatial anomalies, yet none have been observed. These discrepancies open the door to alternative possibilities. Either the universe inherently possessed these uniform properties from the start, or there was some mechanism that imposed these conditions. One possible explanation is cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion theorized to have occurred before the Big Bang itself. On December 7, 1979, physicist Alan Goose proposed this revolutionary idea. He theorized that before the hot Big Bang, the universe underwent an extreme expansion. This inflationary phase could explain why the universe appears flat, homogeneous, and isotropic. After inflation, the universe would transition into the hot, dense state associated with the Big Bang, paving the way for galaxies, stars, and planets to form. However, as researchers now acknowledge, even inflationary theory does not resolve every anomaly. For example, historical observations by the JWST have revealed astonishingly large galaxies from the universe's infancy that defy predictions of the standard model. These galaxies, far larger and more developed than expected for their age, challenge our understanding of how quickly structures formed in the early universe. Such discoveries suggest that our cosmological models may be incomplete or that some aspects of the universe's early evolution remain unknown. Another puzzling observation is the arrangement of galaxies and cosmic structures in ways that seem too orderly for the short time frame since the universe's birth. The JWST has captured images of complex, mature systems that should not exist so soon after the Big Bang, based on our current understanding of galaxy formation. These findings raise fundamental questions. Were the initial conditions of the universe different from what we assumed? Could there be alternative processes driving the rapid assembly of these cosmic structures? Moreover, the very nature of dark matter and dark energy, which constitute the majority of the universe's mass energy content, remains a profound mystery. Dark matter is thought to play a crucial role in the formation of galaxies by providing the gravitational scaffolding necessary for their assembly. However, the exact properties and behavior of dark matter are still elusive. Similarly, dark energy, responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, challenges our understanding of physics at the most fundamental level. These unresolved questions have led some scientists to propose alternative theories or modifications to existing models. For instance, some speculate that the universe may have undergone multiple cycles of expansion and contraction, a concept known as the cyclic or big bounce model. Others suggest that the universe we observe could be part of a larger multiverse, with different regions governed by distinct physical laws and constants. As the JWST continues to push the boundaries of observation, it provides an unprecedented opportunity to test these theories. By studying the faintest, most distant light and the earliest structures in the universe, scientists hope to uncover new evidence that could reshape our understanding of cosmic origins. The telescope's ability to detect infrared light, combined with its extraordinary sensitivity, allows it to peer further into the past than ever before, opening a new window into the cosmos. Ultimately, the quest to understand the universe's beginning is as much a philosophical endeavor as it is a scientific one. Each new discovery brings us closer to answering some of humanity's most profound questions. How did the universe come to be? What is our place in the cosmos? And does the story of creation have an end? Or is it part of an infinite cycle? As we continue to explore the universe with tools like the JWST, we are reminded of the vastness of what we do not yet know. The more we uncover about the cosmos, the more it seems to invite us to look deeper, to question further and to marvel at the mystery of existence itself.
The universe's beginning phases recommend an accelerated arrangement rate that expansion alone doesn't explain. The JWST's fantastic limits offer humanity an outstanding opportunity to investigate the universe. This $10 billion infrared telescope has captured stunning photos of the early universe, uncovering numerous immense, brilliant galaxies from when the universe was only a fraction of its current age. While astronomers previously believed they had a strong understanding of how matter coalesced to form the first stars and galaxies, the JWST revelations suggest a much quicker development than expected. These observations have stirred both excitement and skepticism among experts, as some researchers are forced to revisit fundamental assumptions about universe formation. According to astrophysicist Erica Nelson, massive galaxies seen within the first 500 million years of cosmic history defy existing models. The JWST's preliminary findings indicate that galaxies in this early epoch may be far more massive and diverse than previously thought, potentially housing masses comparable to today's massive galaxies, like the Milky Way. This rapid development challenges current cosmological models, which propose that galaxies of such scale wouldn't form until 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Nelson's research suggests that galaxies might evolve more intensively than anticipated, raising the possibility of new theoretical frameworks for cosmic evolution. Dark matter, an intangible and mysterious substance, is believed to make up about 85% of the universe's mass, shaping the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Traditional cosmology suggests that galaxies form within massive halos of dark matter, which gravitationally attract normal matter, allowing stars and galaxies to coalesce. Yet, JWST observations challenge this model, as galaxies appear to be forming in ways that defy our understanding of dark matter distribution. The presence of dark energy a similarly elusive force responsible for the universe's accelerated expansion, further complicates the picture. Some models suggest that early dark energy, a brief surge in dark energy density, could have accelerated galaxy formation, potentially aligning with JWST discoveries. However, such adjustments must fit within the broader framework of the standard cosmological model, which has already explained cosmic expansion on large scales. Though the Big Bang hypothesis remains a compelling explanation for the universe's origins, it is not the only one. Several alternative theories have gained attention, each offering fascinating perspectives. The steady-state theory, unlike the Big Bang, proposes a universe without a beginning, where matter continually appears as the universe expands. This theory suggests that as galaxies move apart, new matter is produced, maintaining a uniform density. However, it fails to account for the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which strongly supports a hot, dense early universe. The mirror universe theory, a more speculative idea, suggests that two universes were born in the Big Bang, one moving forward in time and the other backward. This twin universe would develop in reverse, providing a perfect reflection of our own cosmic history. Though highly speculative, it implies that the universe could be more complex than previously imagined. The simulation hypothesis raises the possibility that our universe is a simulation created by an advanced civilization. Quantum entanglement and the unique nature of spacetime lend theoretical weight to this idea. Although unprovable, the simulation hypothesis challenges our understanding of existence. The multiverse theory, a popular alternative, proposes an infinite number of universes, each with its own physical laws. According to this model, Dark energy fluctuations trigger multiple Big Bang-like events, creating a vast multiverse. As our universe expands, creating a void of dark energy, this model suggests a continuous cycle of creation, destruction, and rebirth. Each of these theories offers unique insights into cosmic origins, raising new questions about the nature of space, time, and matter. While the Big Bang theory remains the dominant explanation, it has been tested and reshaped by new evidence and perspectives. The JWST, with its unparalleled sensitivity, is poised to uncover even more mysteries of the universe. As the telescope continues its mission, upcoming spectroscopic data will enable more precise measurements of distant galaxies, allowing scientists to refine their understanding of cosmic evolution. As the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, continues to expand our journey into the cosmos, 
Its discoveries promise to reshape how we understand fundamental cosmic processes. One area likely to see significant updates is the formation and evolution of galaxies. Generally, scientists believe that galaxies formed from small clusters of matter that grew over time, guided by gravity. However, the JWST has revealed evidence of galaxies that seem to have formed much earlier than previously thought. These early galaxies are not only larger and more varied than expected but also appear to have developed complex structures in a fraction of the time researchers had imagined possible. This raises fascinating questions about the processes driving galaxy formation. While gravity undoubtedly plays a crucial role, the discovery of such massive galaxies in the early universe suggests that other factors may be at work. One hypothesis involves the role of very massive black holes, which could serve as a central element for galaxy formation. If these black holes formed early in the universe's history, their powerful gravitational pull might have accelerated the rate at which surrounding matter clumped together, leading to the rapid growth of massive galaxies. Additionally, the energy released by these black holes could have triggered bursts of star formation, further speeding up galaxy development. The JWST's ability to detect light from the earliest galaxies also offers new insights into the chemical composition of the universe at different stages of its evolution. Earlier telescopes like Hubble could observe distant galaxies, but their sensitivity was limited when it came to detecting the faint light emitted by early galaxies. The JWST, with its larger mirror and infrared capabilities, can observe galaxies that existed within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These observations are revealing a universe that was far more chemically diverse than previously thought. For example, the JWST has identified galaxies that appear to contain metals, elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, much earlier than astronomers had predicted. This suggests that star formation in the early universe may have been more complex, with the first stars enriching the surrounding gas with heavier elements much faster than expected.